In this video, we're going to be downloading and installing CentOS Stream 8 into vSphere. The first thing we need to do is download the CentOS Stream 8 ISO, and we do this from centos.org slash download. We select our CentOS Stream 8 page, and we want the x86-64 image. We then choose a mirror, and select the full ISO, once we have this, we'll upload it to our data store or content library via the vSphere client. Now that we have the ISO uploaded to our client, we can create a virtual machine. This is the same process as you would use to create any new virtual machine. So we're just going to select our resources here, choose our storage, our compatibility, and then for guest OS, we're just going to choose Linux and CentOS 8. There is no CentOS 8 stream option, uh, but it does appear to work quite well with this option here. We'll then just change our hardware as required, and uh, at this stage we must remember to change our CD drive to mount the ISO that we downloaded earlier. I'm using a content library, so I'll select that here, choose the ISO file, once that's selected we need to make sure that we connect it at Paragon. Click next and finish. And once that's reconfigured, we can power on the virtual machine. And then like any typical CentOS installation, we would just launch the console and we'd follow the wizard on the console. So we'll just skip the ISO check here for the purposes of the demo. Okay, now that that's booted up, we're just going to choose our language selection. And here we get to choose our installation requirements. So I'm going to change, going to make sure the disk layout is as I want it. And this here, automatic's fine. Software selection, I only want a minimal install. I don't want the GUI or anything. So we'll just go for that option. Change my time zone. And then we'll just want to set a root password. Make sure it's not based on any dictionary words, otherwise it'll error. We'll have to hit con we'll have to hit the done button twice. And then for our network, I'm just going to use DHCP here for the lab. So I'm just going to turn the adapter on, uh, update the host name, and that's all we need to do here. You have to hit the configure button if you want to set a static IP. All right, with that all set, we can then begin the installation. So I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll resume that once we have finished. Okay, so now we have the installation completed. We can log in with our root user and the password that we specified earlier. And I like to just cat the etc os release file to show that we are we have actually installed the correct version. And once we've done that, we also should do a yum update yum, which will update yum. Not expecting to find any new updates here because the image is quite new, so that's fine. And then I do a yum update as well just to um, update the system and we can see here it's nothing to do and it's completed. So I've just logged out and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.